Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and I'm back with my Galactus series, Marvel Legends. And this is War Machine. Very cool figure. Got the uh, right leg of Galactus in there. It's very cool. And it comes with a War Machine comic. And then on the back, got his stats. And a little bio there. And the figures that you need to build Galactus. It's very cool. So this was made in 2005 by Toybiz. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright, and we are back with War Machine. Uh, first off, the comic. Uh, it looks like it's an Iron Man comic. You just see it's kind of got a War Machine tagged over it. Because uh, I was thinking, I'd, I don't think they made War Machine comics since they did. They didn't make very many, I'm sure, but, uh, anyways, very cool looking. And, of course, the right leg to Galactus, which is pretty tall. Just a little bit taller than War Machine there. And, of course, he comes with a flight stand, which is pretty cool. And he comes with a ton of accessories. So... Guess let's go ahead and jump into accessories. Let me show the one on the figure. He comes with the uh, the big mini gun just sitting on there. It's connected to a hose that plugs in his back, and it's got this little uh, thing that plugs into his shoulder. So that's pretty cool. And then has a little ammo belt which can go into the mini gun. And then on his other other shoulder, he has another hole. That this can plug into. It's got like some little mini rockets in it. Pretty cool. Some nice little detail there. It's very cool. And it looks like, not exactly sure where this thing's supposed to be. There's like three mini rockets shooting off, but somehow this is supposed to clip on here. I didn't try it out yet, but just plugs into the the mini rockets on the bottom row. So that's pretty badass. I really like that. So you can have like the before where he's just got them loaded up or then you plug plug them in and after you got three of them shooting off. It's very cool. And it does have a uh, swivel on it so it can go up and down. So it's pretty cool. And then of course if you can see Rose's face right there. So it's pretty cool. And um, he does have the clip mask. <clears throat> Haven't tried this yet so I'm not too sure how well it's going to sit on here. Uh, it doesn't really clip in but I don't know it rests on there pretty solid. I don't think I have any problems with it falling off or anything. Very cool. And then you get a ton of these little uh, blaster things. You get I may even have dropped one onto the floor, but uh, you get two like this, which are probably supposed to come out of the bottom of his feet. They get these little pegs that can plug into the peg holes on the feet, which are pretty cool. And of course you can pose them on the flight stand. <clears throat> then I have this one long one right there, and then these two little short blasts, which I think these two are supposed to come out of his hands, because he does have holes in the palm of his hands. I'm trying to look. <laughs> it appears he has a hole in his butt. I guess this is a atomic shits. He's got gas. Not sure what this one's for. I may have dropped one. There may be another one of these long ones, but there is two holes on the bottom of his feet. So it may be you use this for his feet. Not really sure why I would only have one long one and two short ones. But uh, very cool. I really like those accessories. It's pretty badass. But uh, onto the figure himself. Uh, just to start off, I'm not really too sure why this is such a hard figure to find. You know, this figure can go from 70 to 100 bucks on its own in package. And I'm not too sure why. I mean, you can definitely get it cheaper here and there, but 
that's a pretty standard price on eBay. But uh, all the accessories is awesome. Of course, it comes with a piece to Galactus. But uh, this figure has a lot of mess ups on the paint. And it's possible that it's just mine. But it's pretty crappy. See the front of his thigh there? That's really, really, really crappy. And then the front of his other thigh. And then just all over the silver, like on his arm. Just really messed up. I don't know. Just a few issues I had. The black all looks good. I have no problem with the black. He's got the cool little blue symbol there. But just that silver on his legs just really ticks me off. That looks like garbage. But uh, articulation, he's really kind of sticky, so I'm not too sure. Of course, the gun plugs in and can be moved around that peg. But uh, he has a just a side-to-side -side pivot. He doesn't go up and down. It's not a ball joint on his head. But uh, he's got this cool like football armor looking shoulder pads. But uh, if you can see that too well, like his underarm comes out of his body. Like it kind of plugs in and pulls out. And then he does have a ball jointed shoulder with a, a swivel at the bicep. A double jointed elbow. And I cannot get... It looks like the top of his glove is supposed to swivel. But if it is, mine's stuck and will not swivel. Because I just have his hand in this, like... Give me some money position, <laughs> but uh, I can't do anything with that because it's stuck. But I'll definitely work on that. But if somebody knows, uh, go ahead and leave a comment because that would be cool. And then a uh, back and forward swivel at the wrist, as well as the finger joints. They're not individual fingers, but you know, just all four of them go down. And same hand movement on the other one, on the other hand. Uh, if you can see, he does have. Uh, torso movement but it's molded under his armor and doesn't appear to move on its own and then he does have this really awful waist joint just kind of flops around and that's not very good I don't like that then in his hips he's got this stupid joints like this he didn't have the ball joints so that's another disappointing part then he has I think it's supposed to be a swivel at the upper thigh, but this one's really stuck and won't swivel. And he has double jointed knees. And possibly a swivel at the upper boot, but I don't think so. Like I said, some of these joints are just really tight, so it's impossible to tell. But uh, a back and forward pivot at the foot, as well as the side to side pivot. And then the toe joints, which don't really work too well on this foot. but whatever but overall cool figure but uh like i said with uh, all the missing articulation and crappy joints and crappy paint on the legs which may just be mine it may not be a big issue for a lot of people but uh with those several issues that i'm having i i definitely wouldn't pay too much for this figure um, if you just need a Galactus piece, try to find it on its own. If, if you're a completist, definitely pick it up. I mean, that's pretty much what I do. And then uh, there is the uh, Walmart exclusive War Machine, which I think is pretty badass. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's better than this one, but uh, I think it's pretty badass. And it's not 70 bucks, so uh, I wouldn't go too far out of your way to find this one. But it's pretty cool. So that was War Machine. Thanks for checking them out.